Arizona Cardinals are going to minicamp. Neither of us are in pro football because they're keeping us out. They know full well what would happen if Kent and I ran a team. Be unstoppable. So Kent, you're in charge of the Arizona Cardinals offense and I'm your chief advisor. And we're gonna talk about what we would do if we had weapons like Andy Isabella, Larry Fitzgerald, Christian Kirk, Kyler Murray. We're gonna talk our way through how this might look. First things first, let's talk about this rookie Isabella. Can the kid catch or what? That's the question I have. Look, he, he can run, you know, fastest kid at, at the combine, um, productive in college. The few highlights I've seen, I, he doesn't seem like a natural receiver, a catcher of the ball, you know, when it's unfair to compare him to Larry. But Larry catches the ball and there's no sound when the ball hits his hands. This kid is like different. It, mm -hmm. It's like maybe his hands aren't in place or whatever. I'm interested to see if that can be fixed and improved. Yeah, so when Larry catches the ball, it sounds like a swish going through a basketball net. Somebody I've heard say that before. <laughs> then when Isabella catches the ball, it sounds like a bunch of plates breaking. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing about it. Isabella went and bought a jugs machine for his house. Like, this guy's yeah. willing to put the work in. So that means we're going to be limited in the types of routes he can run. What kind of routes would you think as a developer? I think run? you're going to see a variety of things. His speed, you have to use him deep. Right. I mean, he's one of the few pure speed guys the Cardinals have. Supposedly, he has the quickness to use underneath and mm -hmm. to let him run. But how does that mesh with Christian Kirk, who's also that kind of guy? How does that mesh with Fitz, who doesn't go downfield that often anymore? He runs those kind of routes. I, I think you'll see a lot of crossing stuff, a lot of misdirections. I think we'll see a lot more screen passes in Cleef King, Kingsbury's offense, I think we'll see a lot more jet sweep motion and they'll hand it to the guy sometimes and, and sometimes they won't. It's, it's gonna be fun to watch it. And we're not gonna know anything until training camp because mandatory camp starts this week, but we can't report on most of what takes place at practice. All right, so listen, that's about all we can get into now because the clock is out. But I think this conversation is more interesting, so we're just gonna keep talking. So if you shoot over to YouTube, and there should be a link right here on Twitter, <laughs> If you stick with us, we're gonna further this conversation because I think I know what I'd do with Christian Kirk. So what I'm thinking, Kent, is that it's gonna be all about putting pressure on certain spots on the defense, right? So you watch a team's defense, you figure out whether it's their linebacker who's a liability, their safety who's a liability, whether they've got a corner who can't cover, and you put that guy in a bind the best way that you can. I think Isabella is the kind of guy that you use to be a threat. If you hit him, he'll break a big play, if you ignore him, so so he's somebody that you've got to account yeah. for, and then that opens things up for Kirk. Kirk was okay last year. The offense wasn't good last year. What do you think Kirk is capable of if they deploy him properly? I, I, I think a breakout season. Yeah. I think a very big season. I thought he was starting to come into his own before he had that foot injury. I think the Cardinals were starting to sort of figure out how to use him and what he could do. We saw him effective in a screen game. I think, as I said, we're gonna see a lot of that from Cliff Kingsbury. If I had to pick a one breakout guy on offense, I think it's gonna be Christian Kirk. I think he's gonna have a big year. So you know, the NFL, they outlawed the Oklahoma drill this year, right? Like, so you right. can't do it anymore. Christian Kirk is like the one guy you don't want to see in that drill because you're not going to get a hand on him. He's going to make <laughs> you look bad. If you try to tackle Christian Kirk in space, you're going to whiff. So now what you need to do is have threatening guys around Kirk, and last year that limited his effectiveness because there was no threat. It was like, get him the ball, hope to God he breaks something. Now you've got a guy like Isabella who puts pressure on the defense, Kirk's open there, he gets the ball, there's only one dude there to be able to stop him, and then that creates opportunities. What about some of the other receivers? So what do you do with Fitz? I, th I think you have to use him the way they've used him in the, pa in the past couple years, from the slot. He's no longer a down the sideline guy, outside the numbers guy, and unless you get some kind of favorable matchup. He's become, over the last three or four years, more of a catch and run guy, which is humorous to me because I covered him early in his career. It's like, hey, I don't do that across the middle <laughs> stuff. That's Anquan Bolden's job. I, I go down the field and catch long passes, but he's, He's been humble enough and right. self-aware enough to realize this is how I'm going to succeed. So I think they'll still use him in that role and obviously a huge red zone target for them. So Fitz has transformed from Randy Moss to Chris Carter, which is amazing, right? The other thing about Fitz that I think about is he's like a tight end in a two-point stance, right? So if you're able to get Fitz in a mismatch because you've got Isabella out here, you've got to have a fast guy there. 
You've got Kirk here. You've got to have a fast guy yeah. there. Now all of a sudden you've got a linebacker or a nickel safety on Fitz, and that creates a mismatch. So again, for me, this whole system is all about creating mismatches. I'm going to throw one more name at you. David Johnson. The guy said, I'm the best running back in the NFL, and it was like the man was singing to my soul. I'm like, exactly, that's the perfect thing. That's what we fans want to hear. I don't care what the stats say. I don't care what happened the last two seasons. I know what I can do, and I'm here to prove it. I was so excited to hear that from David Johnson. So what do you think you might see from him in this offense? I don't know if he's the best, but he, he's up there. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, he can do what Todd Gurley can do. He can do what Le'Veon Bell can do in the right offense if he stays healthy. It, that's going to be fascinating, too. Cliff Kingsbury's offense, wider splits with the guys up front. As we've said, a lot more screen passes. They hired Cliff Kingsbury for his creativity. David Johnson's the perfect guy to be creative with. I think you'll see sort of a, a 2016, 2017 look from David Johnson. A lot of flanking out, not only in the slot, but put him out wide and use him and not just be a decoy out there. It's very interesting. I think Fitz, you mentioned Fitz earlier, I think having him closer to the formation is a good thing. He's a very good blocker. He can seal an edge. He's not going to blow anybody up, but he'll, he'll get in a guy's way and give David some room. This whole thing's really fascinating to me, how Cliff Kingsbury's offense is going to mesh with the NFL. I would have loved to be a fly on the wall of those offensive meetings as he tries to integrate that offense. And, and some of the veteran NFL coaches on his staff have said, that won't work, that will work, that's a great idea. Yeah, I don't like that so much. I would have liked to have been a fly on the wall to hear what the offensive players had or had to feel after last year with Steve Wilkes, whose offense was like being in a really, really stuffy room, Cliff Kingsbury probably felt like somebody opened a window. Now we know <laughs> the guy was not all that great in college. I don't think that that means it's gonna limit his effectiveness going forward. I think there's a shot that it can work, but that's what Kent and I are gonna be watching for. And again, if you gave us an NFL franchise to run, look out, it's going to win some football games because he knows what he's doing and I'm crazy. We might, we might have a power struggle though. <laughs> there, there might be an opening real quickly. <laughs> don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.